Howdy folks, how are we doing? It is July. And uh, yeah, look at this handsome chap. And I always run like that when I'm going across the yard. If only I look that good in real life, eh? Anyway, yes, like I say, it's July. So that means uh, it's time to get the combines out, basically. And what a pair of combines I've got. Oh, <laughs> yes. So let's open these roller shutters up. And get both these out because the oats is ready to it's ready to cut six o'clock in the morning or just gone six so we've got to get these out get them set up get the headers out sort the trailers out um sort some of the kit out like we need to move the slurry tank there um get ready for harvest so anyway let's fire these out so we've got the Brand new, she's an 890, she's not the big one, but she's an 890 with the new, very nice New Holland livery. I really like that new livery. So, fire her up, get her out. And we've got uh, basically the first of the big Lexian flagships, the old 480. This was a massive combine when it came out. You know, a real step up or in capacity. It's still a very capable combine. So we've got a 30 foot header for this old girl. Right, so we'll get, uh, we'll use the Deutsch here, she's sat here doing nothing. Fire her up, we can get the headers out then. So first field is literally down near just the, the side of the yard. I was just the other side of the grass field actually, so uh, we haven't even got to go down the road. So we'll just bob through here. I do need to move that. All right for a minute. Yeah, it's just the other side of the house first field. That's the nearest field. There's a field further away, but uh, we'll start close to the farm. Just so we think, um, you know, everything's going to be okay. Just going to run a bit of crop over here, but actually, all the <laughs> all the crop, literally all the crop. sometimes the case. I'll just pull up tight along here. Like so and then we'll back the combine in and then just uh, we can then just draw forward, get onto the table. That'll be the easiest way. Okay, what we'll do we'll just uh, instead of back it through we'll just go through and loop round and we'll run a bit of crop down again but about it. We need to open that gateway up a bit, do not I? It does knock all the crop down, doesn't it?
open her up. Unfold the header. Oh, the header was unfolded anyway. There you go. Fire the combine up. Fire the header up and we are away. So just um, header a bit. Seems we're here. we're going to just do a little bit of an up and down. And uh, <laughs> yeah, what did I say? I knew it was going to be a bit uh, damp, but we'll just do a bit, make sure everything works. Right, well, that'll do, I reckon. We've got a bit in the tank anyway. Tested it, it'll work, that's the main thing. Should be a good crop of uh, oats in here, look. So we're gonna, like I say, it's only 20 past six still. Uh, the game knows this, so it's it's saying it's a bit damp, which it would be. It would normally be damp, you wouldn't normally be cutting uh, oats that time of the day. Um, beans maybe, but uh, stop them shelling, but uh, not oats. So, be interested to see what time the game reckons um, would be a good time. I would say 10 o'clock. Normally, roughly, is a good sort of time to start combining for us in the UK. So, anyway, shut her off. We can get other stuff sorted out now, anyway, but at least we know we are good. The 9630 moved. We will fire the Lexin up. Get our move. We've actually probably just hook onto our table and uh, we'll just shut them doors and um, take that into the grass field. That'll be ready to get going in that field of oats. Actually, the 480s were sort of the last of the big combines, so to speak, um, that didn't automatically come with tracks. I mean, I think there's a f maybe a few about, but literally they were near enough all tired machines. Whereas it's very unusual to see a flagship combine now that isn't on tracks. Well, these are like you know, the last of the big tired machines. You can still get them on tyres, but uh, you certainly don't seem to see it in the you know UK just because of you know for a big combine you really want a big set of really big set of tyres um, or even jewels. Obviously, it's not very practical for um, UK uh, road lot. Shit in the US, plenty like, but not in the UK. Park her there, she'll be ready to go in, you know, once the um, New Orleans has been around a couple of times, we'll have a bit of room, we'll get the Lexin in there, and she can um, get going as well, do a bit of work with her. Right, so it's gone half nine now, as you can see. So what we'll do, we'll take the old uh, 30 over there with a the trailer on, and see if it'll go now, see if it's dried up enough. It should have done. Nice morning. TW30. Now I'm playing with um, full clutch and manual gearbox. And 
I'm actually, I, this is one of the first times I've used my new setup. I was using a Logitech Thrustma, uh, Thrustmaster. No, a Logitech. Um, oh, what was it? I can't remember what it was. I was using a Logitech wheel. Well, now I'm using a Thrustmaster T48 with the uh, basically. Um, <coughs> It's classed as the um, like the heavy equipment, uh, I don't know, sort of uh, mounting, if you will. So it changes. It, well, basically, it's an adjustable steering wheel now. So you've got little knobs on it, so you can adjust the steering wheel to where you want it, and it puts it in more of a um, shallow angle, so to speak. So it's more. But like, you see where the steering wheel is in the TW there. You can have it at that angle, whereas a lot of the racing wheels are far more upright, like in a car. So, um, um, so it's more of a, it's more realistic, basically. You can adjust it to where you want it. So I got that. You get the uh, an eight-speed gearbox, or really a seven-speed with a reverse, but you can run it as an eight-speed. Uh, so it's a little bit more flexible because the other one was a six-speed with a proper reverse on it, the Logitech was, um, so it's a bit more usable. I'm using a, um, what is this, I forget what, um, I've got a snazzy new joystick, um, it's got like hand throttles on it, it's basically a flight stick, but I'm using that as me, uh, um, me sort of my joystick control as well, so I'm really, really updated, but the only thing I don't like about this, um, steering wheel is it's even on its lighter setting um, I can't um, let's put it into neutral I can't uh, it's still very heavy just you know the, the the force feedback on it's still very heavy the springs still very heavy um, and usually I can't update it online for some unknown reason won't let me do it so I'm just using the the menu in the steering wheel to uh, put it on its minimum setting, which it is, it's on its minimum setting, so so it's still a bit heavy for my liking, you know. It's uh, actually, it's probably actually, f it's still heavier than it, the steering would be in the TW as it, as it was, it's like unpowered steering. But never mind, I'll um, try and get through that. It's, it's not too bad, it's just I could do it a bit lighter, I don't really need to work out while I'm playing farm sim. So anyway, let's fire this up. Oh, I've still got the Logitech side panel as well, which has got a little joystick and all the buttons on it as well. So it's got, you know, it's a real, quite a good setup I've got now. Right, let's fire the old girl up. Let's see if it's dry enough. Oh, I would assume it's dry enough right now. Think so I should be struggling, we should be struggling on this prop. Is that, um, yeah, we really dropped right now for some reason. There we go, we are, we're cutting, we are harvesting, boys. Weeds in um, a few weeds in the, in the field, but uh, yeah, the tram lines are horrendous there, isn't that? Definitely with spray. Yeah, I'd say it's a really good looking map. Fields cut, there's going to be a lot of lime, everything needs lime. 
everything's probably going to have to be ploughed, I should think. It's going to be busy out all. Sample, you'd be happy with that, wouldn't you? <laughs> right, let's um, let's do another bout anyway. Go around again. Get this head and done, then we can uh, yeah, we could, we'd get away with the two thirty-five foots. That'll give us enough headland, I reckon. Should have enough on now to fill the trailer. trailer full but full enough I should think so what we'll do is we'll set this uh, set this going off down here and we can go and tip that load it back with LTW and like I said we'll get the Lexing going TW, look at that. 
Look at the smoke when she falls down. Seems like, I mean, I don't know, it seems like she's in front wheel drive, shouldn't we? See if we can fix that in a minute. Right, so I have just been in and changed everything to manual now. So you can see bottom right, we've got full control of the four wheel drive and diffs. So, so we'll put her in four wheel drive, see how we get on. of TW. Hopefully.
right, so we'll go over the far side of the field and work back. He's busy over there. Alright, let's fire her up. about seven ton an acre here, so it's just under three ton an acre so it's not bad I would like to have seen a bit more but like I say we're not um, we haven't maximised yield by uh, the fact that it wants ploughing and it wants lime so when we come back to it you know when we harvest it again once we've ploughed it limed it then all the other stuff again we should get then maximum yield a little bit of luck so I've got just uh, just under half a tank tuck me reel back in out ready but the trailer's full so we'll go and um, we'll go and tip the trailer and then we'll be about done all right be first field done obviously we've got to then move over to that other field but uh, it's a good start anyway T-Dub. Just quite satisfying to drive this old thing. <laughs> Not so I am using the clutch and gears. She didn't like that, did she? I mean, it is a big old trailer for her.
Yes, yeah, so this will be the third load I've tipped in the barn. Like I say, there's half a load left in the Lexi, isn't it? So I'll have to go and buy a pusher, pusher upper. Because I haven't got one of them. Look quite a period set up though, doesn't it? Goes. Oh, there we go. Good old pile in there now, aren't we? Definitely wants pushing up. Um, yeah, because we've got uh, yeah we've got a, another much bigger field to go in there. So um, yeah, whether we'll uh, get that straight off to the store, sell that straight away, so we've got room for the wheat. Don't know. We'll see. We'll get uh, we'll get the other bit of other field of oats done first. And then we'll see where we are. But uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that little vid. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta.